Mari Kesa College of Arts and Science for Women, PG Department of Mathematics. Now let me see the mechanics. Now let me define the projector. The motion of a particle projected into air in any direction and with any velocity. Such a particle is called a projector. The two forces that act on the projectile are its weight and the resistance of air. The basic definitions of the projectile are angle of projection. The angle of projection is the angle that the direction in which the particle is initially projected and makes with the horizontal plane through the point of projection. The velocity of projection. The velocity of projection is the velocity with which the particle is projected. Then next one is trajectory. The trajectory is the path which the particle describes. The range on a plane through the point of projection is the distance between the point of projection and the point where the trajectory meets that plane. Then next we see the defin definition of time of flight. The time of flight is the interval of time that elapses from the instant of projection till the instant when the particle again meets the horizontal plane through the point of projection. Then next we define the impulse. When a force act on an object, it can change the motion of the object. The change will depend on the size of the force and how long a time the force acts for. The impulse is the size of force multiplied by the time for which it acts thus. Impulse equal to force into time. Then next we see the, the collision of elastic bodies. A force of restitution. The internal force which acts when a body tends to recover its original shape after de deformation or compression is called the force of restitution. Elasticity. The property which causes a, bo a solid body to recover its shape is called the elasticity. Inelasticity. If a body does not tend to cover its recover its shape, it is said to be inelastic. Then next we see the, the fundamental laws of impact. Law 1. When two bodies impinge directly, their relative velocity after impact bears a constant ratio to their relative velocity before impact and is in the opposite direction. Law 2. If two bodies impinge obliquely, their relative velocity result along their common normal after impact bears a constant ratio to their relative velocity before impact result in the same direction and is of the opposite sign. Then next we see the simple harmonic motion. Simple harmonic motion refers to a certain kind of oscillatory or wave-like motion that describes the behavior of any physical phenomena that is a pendulum, a bob attached to your spring, low, uh, low amplitude waves in air, water, the ground, the electromagnetic field of laser light, vibration of a plucked guitar string, the electric current of most AC power supply, etc. Next, we see the uh, terminology, for, terminology for periodic motion as period, frequency and amplitude. Thank you.